Hello everyone, and welcome back to Hollywood Digest. Today we are going to look at The King and I, 1956 cast, then and now, and how most of them died. Number 1. Deborah Kerr as Anna Leon Owens. In 1956, aged 35. Deborah, 86, died from the effects of Parkinson's disease. She died on October 16, 2007. Three weeks after her death, her husband, Peter Viertel, died of cancer. May her soul rest in peace. Number 2. Yul Brynner as King Moncut of Siam. In 1956, aged 36. Yul Brynner, who played the lead in The King and I for more than 30 years, died at the age of 65. According to Ellis, his spokesperson, Yul died as a result of many complications from what was originally cancer. His wife, Kathy Lee, and his four children were with him when he died. May his soul rest in peace. Number 3. Martin Benson as Kralaholm. In 1956, aged 38. Benson died in his sleep on February 28, 2010, at the age of 91. It was reported that Martin died from natural causes. Number 4. Rita Moreno as Anna Leon Owens. In 1956, aged 25. In 2022, aged 90. Number 5. Terry Saunders as Lady Tiong. In 1956, aged 33. Widely known for playing Lady Tiong in the film and stage versions of The King and I. Terry Saunders sadly died on April 8, 2011, aged 89. May her soul rest in peace. Number 6. Rex Thompson as Louis Leon Owens. In 1956, aged 14. In 2022, aged 79. Number 7. Patrick Adiarte as Prince Chulalonkorn in 1956, aged 13. In 2022, aged 79. Number 8. Jeffrey Toon as Sir Edward Ramsey in 1956, aged 46. Sadly, Jeffrey Toon died from natural causes, aged 94, at Denville Hall in Northwood, London. At the time of his death, Toon was one of the last survivors of the old Vic Theatre Company of the 1930s. Having appeared alongside the likes of John Gielgud and Laurence Olivier in productions of Shakespeare,
Number 9. Carlos Rivers as Luenda. In 1956, aged 31. Carlos Rivas was a leading Mexican-American character actor who had a long list of credits in films and television. Sadly, Carlos died of complications from prostate cancer on June 16, 2003. May his soul rest in peace. 